Hey guys, guess what? It's time to put doors. Oh, I finished my roof. It's time to put doors on this bad boy. Now, can I just do, can I just, can I just, ooh, wait a minute. How's that look from the inside? Not good. Not good. Am I not going to be able to place doors on the, on this block? This, this is not what I wanted. However, since I have to make steps here anyway, you know what? That's gonna work out just fine. You doubted me. You doubted my door place and ability. <laughs> you didn't doubt me. You never doubted me for a second. Or did you? <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh. That was weird. I placed it there and it went up there. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm doing good. Just finishing up my house here. Putting down some doors on this very important block right here, right? And then I'll put another half slab or something around the side. But now I know I can place the door in the exact spot I want it. Look at that. Nice and... Oh, oh it's not really flush with this part of the wall, but that's okay. I feel like it should be though. It's only like half half covered. This one's fully covering it, the bottom part. In fact, there's even more space, but the top half the door sort of sticks out a bit. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I really am not. That's kind of disappointing. Let's cut this stone in half to get some steps going. Uh we'll also cut one of them like that and make those into corners. See how that looks. No, that's terrible. That is oh, horrible. It's my French. I know it's really, really good. Hmm. What if we just uh no no no. Oh man, man, I thought this was gonna be simple. Turns out to be the a pain, not the pain. A pain in my buttocks. Uh that looks kind of derpy if you do that and uh, the fence is here. I don't know. That looks doesn't look good to me. You know what? I think the best option is actually just to leave it like this. It is just a oh, it is just like a, a back door, so it's not supposed to be super important. It's not like it's the front door. Speaking of the front door, let's put some lighting here just for now. It's temporary lighting. Yeah, so I went I did a couple more rows of the the mini blocks. And finished off the roof, flattened it off. I think it's a good height. Uh, oh, and I removed the ugly tree <laughs> from the front here. I think that's a pretty good height. Doesn't it look like... Doesn't it look better than that? <laughs> oh, the gyms. I love you. But it does kind of look more proportional, right? And if I... if I Imagine. Just imagine. Just continue the lines up. The house would be about that tall. Or the, the roof would be about that tall. And that'd be just too much. I think it looks good like this. Everything looks good. Uh, the door. Yes. I got a front door now. Now I wanted to place it here. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Look at this. Fantastic. I have a door now. I have a real house. This doesn't look right, though. That should be dark wood. Is this a panel or a full block? It's a panel. How come I couldn't place it on that one? Huh. Oh, and there's a piece missing, apparently. Let's get dark wood. Let's get a dark wood block. If I have any. Oh, it would be here. There we go. Perfect. We're going to be working on the mushroom exhibit today. Pretty sure I'll be able to finish it. It's not going to be anything special. It's going to be mushrooms. Speaking of which, can you plant those bad boys? I always thought there was a bug where you couldn't plant them. Hopefully not. I have to fix this window. I removed goods. Um color changing wall. Excellent idea, dude. Excellent. However, did not work for me. So now I have a regular wall again. I have to get a ceiling in here and put put on some lights. I want to have a light switch somewhere. Not sure where I could put it though. Uh probably in between one of these walls is the easiest option. Like maybe uh whoa 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 what is happening? That was weird. Uh I could have it in here somewhere on this Oh no, this wall's not... I guess I could have it in here, actually. 
or here when you first walk into the to the house you hit a switch and all the lights turn on that'd be kind of cool so yeah i'm hoping to do that i'm still one worrying or not worrying but waiting <laughs> this is never gonna happen is it i'm never gonna get quartz on ftb i really would like a quartz ceiling but i guess i'll just have to work on some other sort of ceiling options i have no food on me i've been cooking up smooth stone because uh i want to keep working on that bat exhibit the bat exhibit is going to be a <laughs> it's going to take a while so we're going to work on the mushroom one today and maybe do the bat maybe do a little bit on the bat exhibit i don't know we'll see we'll see how things work out uh but for now let me get organized i say as i do it on camera anyway and i will check back with you guys once we are ready to start our mushrooms. Is it weird that this scene sort of pleases me? Like watching rain outside my door. In real life too, like rain is just so soothing, calming and relaxing. I can't stand people that say that they hate rain and that it sucks and wish it was bright and sunny all the time. Sure, bright and sunny is great, but look at this. This is so pretty. <laughs> it's hitting, look, it's hitting my, my fence and stuff. I really feel like I've got a home here now. It feels good. Okay, let's go over and show you guys what I've been doing for the last uh, 10 minutes. I took a little detour from the mushroom thing. We're still going to do that today. It sh really should not take long at all, so not a big deal. I have, however, been shaping my, uh, whoa, been shaping my bat uh, exhibit a little bit, so... This is the general idea. I'm going to enclose the bottom. I think I mentioned this last time. I'm going to enclose the bottom in uh, in smooth stone. What? What am I saying? Yeah, in smooth stone. Well, basically, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to cover it. So stop using big words like enclose. I'm going to cover up my exhibit uh, with smooth stone. Oh, no, it stopped. Um, and make two. I'm going to make a little, a little cave up top here. It's not going to be a big deal. Um... Just a tiny little cave with just one bat spawner, perhaps. Maybe the tier 4 spawner. I don't know. And then below, that's where the magic's going to happen. I've even been thinking about not even bothering with the one at the top. Maybe just put like a little logo or a sign or something here. Um, so it's still circular, as you can see in the mini-map. It's still circular. So maybe I can put a little sign in the middle here. And then there's an entrance somewhere to get down below and really experience the bat cave. So that would be pretty cool. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. That's My keyboard is functioning really weirdly today. Sometimes I just keep keep sliding. I was experiencing this with vanilla Minecraft a while back. And a lot of people said it was a bug with the game. But I haven't in a while. And now all of a sudden today it's doing it a lot. Um, so there. I'm done. Look at that. Let's go. Actually, I should have left myself a little open opening. Just so that I can check out what's happening down here. How dark is it now? Pretty dark. I've got to hide some lighting in places here. You can still see it, though, which is good. My bat spawner is turned off. That's awesome. Let's turn it on. Bam! It's going to be so cool. I'm going to have little um, stalactites hanging from the top here. Is that? What's that? Grass, I think. So I'm going to have stalactites hanging from the ceiling. And uh, I'm going to have uh, sections... Like right here, there's going to be water above so that we get the little drips down. Believe me, it's going to be beautiful. But first, we have to worry about uh, finishing it, which is going to take a while. Look at how many bats. That's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's go and get started on that mushroom biome. Or mushroom exhibit, I should say. You know, I started filling in this little exhibit. This is, by the way, this is going to be the mushroom area. Mushrooms aren't that special, let's face it, they don't need a very large space. Speaking of which, did these guys did these guys do any any work yet on the penguin exhibit? I want to show you guys so bad. This is so great. It's not working. It's not working. Dang it! One of these days it'll be done. And you guys will see it and you're gonna love it. I promise. So yeah, mushrooms, they're not that special anymore, let's face it. I mean we've seen mushrooms. A dozen times before. They don't need a very big exhibit. This is more than enough. Uh, a couple mushrooms in here, a couple mushrooms, and um, and some mycelium for the floor. Which brings me to my next point. I was gonna fill this all in with dirt here, just to, to do the base of the of the exhibit, and then I realized, oh boy, if I do that, it's all gonna turn into grass, and then I'm gonna have a heck of a time turning it into mycelium. 
So I'm, I think I'm going to place the mycelium first and then start placing the floor. I need to make this bigger. And look at this. The poolers. Pool, poolers? I forgot how to pronounce it. Pool, polar? Poolers. I think it's poolers. The poolers told me <laughs> you needed these. Anders. Look at this adorable guy, Anders. Silverwood sapling and a rainbow oak sapling. A lot of you were telling me to use the hoe of something from Thumecraft to grow it. That is an option. Um, and then some of you are just telling me that it will grow eventually. Uh, I don't think that's the case. But it's still there. Uh, I think I'm just going to rebuild it. That's. I think that's what I'm going to do. Also, a lot of comments about um, the feeder despawning animals. I was having the, the birds despawn before I even had the feeder. So I don't think that's it. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, it could be contributing to the... Oh. Hey there. It could be contributing to the despawning. Like this guy. This guy's been in here forever. He's never despawned. But those guys are just vanishing. It could be the feeder, but like I said, before the feeder was there, I was already having disappearing problems. Let's grab some mycelium here. I think I've got it in this chest. No, I think I've got it in this chest. I think I've got it in this chest. Yeah, I knew it wasn't one of those chests. So let's start placing this. Oh, man. <gasps> Somebody's been feeding my quest ramp. He did not have a Gucci belt before <laughs> or a belt at all. What happened? Who's been feeding my quest ram? You jerks. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. Um, okay, let's see. Let's uh, boom right here. And now we can start working from here and hopefully <laughs> yes. Hey, where's my where's my chatty McChattersons? There we go. <laughs> Vampiro dies the most in this game that I've ever seen anybody die. It's ridiculous. Every time he comes on, it's like guaranteed death. All right, let's see. Um, I guess I could just yeah. Let's let's keep it separate over here. Well, let's put one there actually. Again. <laughs> now I'm just gonna smile. <laughs> All right, I I don't need to do this with you guys watching. So um, let me get this done. And I will be back in a GIF. A GIF, I tells you. Spread mycelium, spread. Man, I am fighting a losing war here. I constantly have to keep updating the grass and stuff. Because it spreads. It spreads. The mycelium is not powerful enough. Okay. So this is the gist of it. I'm going to have another layer. I think I'm going to round this off a little bit and sort of do like little wavy layers of mycelium. Because it's cooler that way, I believe. Come on. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to round this off. Um, let's, let's start. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. I broke mycelium. Don't freak out on me. It's fine. Go ahead and do this one too. Look, that water wanted to cooperate. And then it changed its mind. Let me get this out of the way. I think we're good. No! I think we've beaten the, the grass war. <laughs> the war on grass. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's a good shape there. And then I think I'm going to have another layer around here. And then we're going to have some mushrooms. Hopefully... Um, last time I tried to plant mushrooms, didn't work out so well. What the heck? Double click the search bar. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had no idea. Of course, I'm an organized guy and I know where all my things are in my chests. So I didn't need that feature. But it's nice to know that it exists. Let's get rid of this. That sand. Okay, let me see how this is looking. I don't want it to look too... Ooh, it's really squared here. So let's... Maybe round this off a bit. Like so. Maybe one more here. Something like that. Yeah, that looks a little better. Okay. That's good. Alright, so now let me do this second layer of curviness. This is general outline here. Again, you don't want to be symmetrical. You've got to resist the symmetry. 
this is good. Now I can imagine a mushroom planted here, maybe a, a one or two up here. Chances, though, are that mushrooms are going to defy me. And they're going to say, no, we will not be planted. I, I still have so much mycelium. Why not fill this in with mycelium, right? Right? Okay, let me go grab some mushrooms and, uh, <laughs> and begin the task of trying to plant these bad boys. Should be fun. Oh, not you. Okay, we're good. All right. Somebody might be pranking me or trolling me with this brown sheep because I swear I have removed this sheep a million times out of the area and he keeps coming back and jumping into exhibits. I'm not sure what's going on, but he needs to stop. Just stop. Okay, let's get some mushrooms. Here we go. The moment of truth. Will this work? Will it float? Let's have a red one here. Please just grow. Yes. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's have another one here. Good. Let's have... Wait, let's see. Let's check out our color distribution here. Our color distribution is decent. How about a red one? Now, I'm not sure if they grow... Let's try it over here. No, that, that one's not going to grow for me. What about over here? Yes. Okay, good. Good. Let's have another one. Oh, man. It's going to look way too even. Um. Yeah, that sucks. I don't want that to happen. I think maybe another red one just to get rid of the unevenness. If I put another red one here, it won't place. Well, that was weird. Well, you can't place them on dirt. Huh. I'm always learning new things. Okay, how about how about this? I'm a genius. I am so smart. SMRT. There we go. How about that? That's decent. They're all the same. Well, no, they're not the same height, actually. These two are the same height. And that, uh, I'd like them to be different heights, but it's not a big deal. Now, something I did want to do. Um, is this going to work properly? Ooh, let me check if the silk touch. Ah, uh, you just get the brown one. Okay, good. I want to put lamps up there. Glowstone, anything. You can't really see it. All I need is a light source up there. So let me grab some... I could Actually, I could just use bugs. You won't be able to see it at all. So I could just use bugs. I won't be able to do that for this one, though. Sorry, guy. I had to destroy your baby. So like that. And let's break that one. Perfect. <laughs> that looks pretty cool, actually. Look at a giant lampshade. I think that's going to look nice at nighttime. Yeah. Okay. So let me get some glass around here. Make it look fancier. Was there an escaped guy over here? Oh, where did he go? Oh, maybe it's just... Okay, it was probably a gl Holy crap! You cannot... Don't stand on those things. I saw a guy just walk right over here, and I thought he was gone. But it looks like... Looks like it was just a... <laughs> just a glitch. I'll get back to working on this thing. Let's get some fungus-infested cows over there. Come here, you fungusy bovine, you. Yeah. You're going to love it over there. It's much better than that um, dirt box you were in. And better than the previous place you were in, which is up high on a ledge or on a tiny block waiting to be killed. Fall to your death. There you go, buddy. How do you like it? He wants to escape. <laughs> He's just staring at a wall. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is not this is not by design. I still need to put the iron railings here. I don't think they can jump out from here. I mean, I can, but I have a jetpack on. I don't think they can jump out from there. Um, so, yeah, let's not have that happen. Let's go get his friend. And then, to finish off the episode, because I, I, I anticipate the comments already. They're already talking about the Minotaur boss or the Mushroom guy that you meet in the in the mazes and they're like well you gotta go catch that guy what kind of a what kind of an exhibit are you gonna make for him if you're making this mushroom stuff 
well, I'm going to replicate his base. Um, but we got to catch him first. And I think we can do that in this episode. I hope. Well, maybe not this episode. Because uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the problem of getting him out with all those other mobs lurking around. You know what? Maybe we'll leave that for next episode. Which means this one might be a little shorter than usual. I uh, Hopefully... You guys don't hate me forever, um, because I try really hard to make good videos for you. You can't always, they can't always be over half hour, right? I mean, most channels on YouTube only have like 15 minute videos. <laughs> I'm being a derp. I also have to collect, yeah, that's going to be the next episode then. I've got to go back to these this maze. i got to collect three more of these spawners, because I only have the one. And I have to collect that, uh, the boss, the mushroom boss, or whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. Lots to do. Lots to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Before I forget, maybe I'll start laying down some more of this, uh, floor here off camera. So that it looks all nice and even. Look at the, look at the, I just like looking at the mini-map as I fly over. Like the circles and the colors and stuff. Really cool. I like it. I gotta make this exhibit bigger, too. I still have to do that as well. This one right here for the crows. And they're gone too. They're, they're just gone. I think there's one left. Oh no, there's two still. There used to be four. I don't know why these guys are disappearing. It, it can't be the feeder because the birds... Whoa! Sorry about that. You just might have heard a giant knock on my microphone. The birds were disappearing, be, disappearing before the feeder. So I doubt it's the feeder. But I guess we could be better safe than sorry. And just remove this thing. Because we have enough rams here. Look at this. This place is infested with rams. Let's get rid of this. Grab it. I can't grab it? Oh, it's just lag. Should have known. I can't... Oh, man, the lag. Okay. Yeah. So, um... It's looking pretty good. So, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we go adventuring a little bit. Bye-bye. Let's take a look at this as we as we go our accomplished project.